the reality is, is that this was about Democrats' chances down ballot. That's what we were saying the whole time. Biden, despite him having a, what'd you say? I was going to say, this is a coup of all those races then, too. Uh, apparently, yeah. Because he, they, he was, like, Virginia was in play, New Mexico, things that were previously unthinkable. And that's why the Republicans are having a panic attack, because they were starting to, as Dave Weigel said to us, begin... Like thinking, oh my gosh, we can pivot to Wisconsin. We can pivot to New Mexico. We, we can, can make J.D. To... Vance the VP. Right, right. We we can do a safe pick. But this is the this. I just want to pull up this quote from the Politico piece uh, on Nancy Pelosi. I just sent it, Bradley. Um, this is like the reality. And and Pelosi, for all our, our issues with her, she at least cares about winning and knows how to count. And this was what they said about her role in getting Biden to step aside. Senior aides were bracing for former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who'd worked behind the scenes to encourage others in the party toward the kind of collective action that might finally push the president to end his campaign, to go public this week, and possibly even disclose Democratic polling clarifying Biden's dire political straits. Uh, Nancy made clear that they could do this the easy way or the hard way, said one Democrat familiar with private conversations who was granted anonymity to speak candidly. She gave them three weeks of the easy way. It was about to be the hard way. So that's basically the Politico saying that Nancy was going to go public. Pelosi was going to go public. Perhaps other Democrats were going to go public with their concerns about Biden and polling data. Yeah, I mean, that's what the hard way is, is we're going to talk to you about the uh, swing state polling data that your guys haven't been showing you. Right, that she'd been, that they, they'd reportedly been hiding. There were reca recountings of her calls, uh, tough calls with the campaign, where Pelosi demanded to speak uh, to one of Biden's top aides who was insisting verbally to her that the polling was still, there was still upside to the campaign. But Pelosi re reportedly said, get Mike on the phone. I want to see those numbers myself because they were giving them the runaround. So in the end, like I know if for political purposes, it's valuable to say that Biden was like selfless and patriotic, but he went out kicking and screaming, as did his campaign. He did the right thing. But this was about like the preservation of Democrats chances across the country this election cycle. And it were it was like the power players that actually do have power in the party. I think Pelosi and Obama who got it done. Play the uh, clip uh, from Morning Joe uh, from this morning, which gives some of that TikTok. tock. We talked about this growing anger inside of the campaign. And we'll just say it. Anger at Steve Reschetti and anger at Mike Donlan, that the campaign believed, and people inside the White House who loved Joe Biden believed, they weren't giving the, the straight story to Joe Biden. That changed Friday night. Word started spreading around the campaign. Message received by Reschetti. Uh, Reschetti and Donlan were going to get the information together, especially Reschetti, and he was going to go deliver the bad news to the president this weekend. Yeah, what can you tell us? Here's what happened this weekend in Rehoboth Beach. The president, of course, still battling COVID, still isolating at his family home, uh, summoning his two closest aides, Donlan and Reschetti. They were there for him in 2016 when he decided not to run. They were there again in 2019 when he decided to jump into that campaign. Uh, they are his closest advisors, and then they presented him Saturday morning with new information, as we reported uh, exclusively, uh, new battleground state polls that show the president down in all seven battlegrounds and also support really slipping in places that Democrats have won now for cycles, Virginia, New Mexico, Colorado, all of those now in jeopardy. And, and, and so there it is. I mean, um, can't believe they made me pay all that money on ads against him. Not fair. Not fair. Wonder if there will be, like, in a book in two years, uh, reporting that indicates that there were some people who knew Biden, Biden's condition had deteriorated and that this debate that was set early, months earlier than debates between general election candidates typically um, are set, that it was a bit of a, like, hey, we can either reset the narrative or we can begin this campaign to get him to step aside. Um, I wonder if there was some of that, uh, at least in, in the thinking of some people. I mean, we don't, we'll not, we won't know for a while, but without this, it worked I mean, out that way. it worked out like, could you imagine if we were in this situation past the convention, it would have been horrible.
<laughs> Horrible. So, so this is why this was a good thing. And it's needed energy for the Democrats. Hey, folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.